Hey you guys, in this video, we are talking about all the things that you should do for your listing photos. If you haven't already, go check out our other video on all the things that you should not do. And with both, you're gonna have magical Airbnb listing photos. So we can talk to you a little bit about things that you can do for your listing photos and uh, things that will make your property stand out and look better. So if you have like that white kind of old school appliances, especially for fridges, there's a good solution to that that we've done for multiple of our clients, which is a fun feature actually, because there's so many designs that you can take it with, is a fridge wrap. So you can go online and literally purchase, it's like a sticker that you put on to the fridge itself. It comes with fun designs. You can tether them to the design of the overall property as well. And it just hides that old, dated white fridge, especially if you don't have it in the budget to upgrade to stainless steel appliances. Yeah, it's a definitely a great hack. If you're not comfortable to put the wrap on yourself, you can get some a wallpaper or a painter to do it. The fridge wrap and the labor is still gonna be a fraction of what it would have cost to upgrade to stainless steel. So it's definitely a fun feature, great option, and something that you guys can do that will just elevate your kitchens. They come for fridges, ovens, and dishwashers. So you can probably find something for anything that you wanna cover up, and it's definitely a great option. So when you're taking photos of your bathrooms, make sure that the toilet seat is down. That is such a simple, 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 completely free thing that you can do that elevates your listing photos and makes the bathroom look clean. People don't want to see the toilet seat open. They don't need to see what the inside of a toilet looks like. Just lower that seat, make it look clean and flush. Another thing that people feel that they need to showcase or leave out is shampoos and soaps and those types of things, not for your listing photos. Again, you can include that in your description or take an isolated photo of it on the side, but don't even have it in your shower. Put it underneath the bathroom vanity or another storage closet. It does not need to be included in photos. So moving on to curtains. So for listing photos, you definitely do want to have them drawn open. This just creates, you know, like more warmth in the room. It adds the natural element of the light coming through. It just is overall more welcoming and just looks better in your staging photos. And a key, key, key point to keep in mind when it comes to curtains is you want to have this much of a width on either side. So like when you open them, make sure that there's four arms width on one side and a four arms width on another side. Cause we see a lot of listings with the curtains open so much that they're so like tight together. And you can't really even tell like what the color of the curtains are. If there's a pattern, it looks squished, it looks rushed and it just doesn't look, it doesn't have that nice inviting vibe to it. So open the curtains, but definitely leave four arms length worth of space on either side. And that's just gonna look more luxurious and more staged. Yeah. Something else to pay attention to are throw pillows. These are very eye-catching in listing photos. They're there for a reason. They provide warmth and decor. So on couches, you wanna make sure that they're standing upright, that they're bunched together. The larger pillows are behind, the smaller pillows are in front. Give them a little fluff and a thing. If you can throw a karate chop in the top, that's nice too, to create a little bit of a V. And it just looks very elegant and uh, leveled up and higher end. So another do for your listing photos is turn all lights on. So that goes for your side lamp tables, your bedside tables. You wanna make sure all these lights are on. It just really elevates the space, adds more light to the photos. And that is definitely a do throughout the property. Even if it's during the day, first of all, you should always schedule your photos during daylight. It's not good to take photos at night, but even during the day, if it's sunny out and you have a lot of windows, still turn the lights on because although it feels overdone in person, to translate that into photos, it will look clean, crisp, and beautiful. So don't, I think a lot of people think like, oh, well, it's bright enough in here because they're physically standing in the space which that might be the case, but on photos, it's gonna look so much better with all the lights on. So we hope you guys really enjoyed that video. So please subscribe to our channel and we hope you enjoy the rest of our videos. Also follow us on Instagram if you wanna learn more about what we do. It's at Pink Wall Designs.